hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel my facebook page wherever you're watching me from you are welcome so in today's video i want to talk about two shower gel but they are made by same manufacturer it's most people don't know about the shower gel yeah so i'm going to talk more about it so if this video seems like something that interests you go nowhere and keep I'll drop the picture as usual so you can see it very well it's a common shower gel unlike the shower gel i reviewed a few months back that shower gel is when you want to white like white like snow white use that shower gel like every day every day every day for a complete six months trust me you're not going to look the same so i decided to stop using it in short i didn't finish it i didn't even use it up to cut i have to keep it i think my sister kind of like mix uh different liquid soap that is not whitening just to which, which i don't know but this my white care set um times two whitening moisturizer actually it doesn't really whiten like that it can make your skin look a little bit fairer but not fast yes i've exhausted this one so I have two ways I'm going to I'm going to review. These are two different types. One is age defying, while the other one is whitening, firming. Uh, there's something I experienced about using the two. So one, I still have the content inside. I don't think I'm going to use everything because I don't like what I experienced using it. While the other one, I kind of exhausted it, and I'm definitely going to look for it if I can find it close to where I am to get it so in this video i'm gonna let you know my experience using the both of them what i like about the both of them and what i don't like and how you can use it why i prefer the age defying white care brand of a shower gel is because it has rose hip inside yes you all know rose hip has loads of vitamin c in it i always kind of love any product that has vitamin c in it because vitamin c helps your skin to regenerate its tissues it helps your skin re it rejuvenates your skin here yeah. like i said in my previous videos if you're, you have any open wounds open sore you maybe have issues with your skin and you have to see a, a doctor or a dermatologist there's always this product they refer they kind of prescribe for you that has vitamin so any skin product that has vitamin c in it i don't play with it so rose hip have lots of vitamin c in it so the content of vitamin c in rose hip is higher than citrus that is why i fell in love with this product also have goat milk these also have goat milk yeah so the uh, rose hip i said it has loads of vitamin c in it it has vitamin c in it more than citrus some other importance of goat milk they said it's kind of lighting your skin that and it helps to firm the skin yeah but i am 100 percent sure about moisturizing your skin makes it feel so soft and beautiful glow your skin so even aside goat milk any milk content if you want to do your normal diy your skin diy and you kind of mix me stuff that there, there's some diy i have in my videos that you can check it out maybe like six months back that i did a diy that i mix milk that DIY is super, so you can go check it out. Or maybe I'll leave the link down below so you can see what. The disadvantage I noticed, which I won't really call it disadvantage to me, but I've had two friends that use this product that they complained about it, is that when you use it, your body still feel after using it to wash yourself, you sponge yourself, everything, and you apply your water on your body. Your body still feels like there's this soap on your body so for me i love it that way because it makes my skin look so soft and glossy but two of my friends they said they don't like it makes them feel like they didn't take their bath very well makes them feel like there's this trace of soap on their body and they are not comfortable with it so your dislike may be my like my like may be your dislike to me it's not a disadvantage but to them they don't like it so now guys let's just hop into the firming 
yeah because this is the age defined why this is the femi so the age defined has to do with like your rosy get get rid of wrinkles get rid of, rid of like like i said if you want to use anti-aging products don't expect like fast fast results you need to be patient you need to use it for like a very long time some people may be lucky to make see results within two months within six months some may have to use like a year or two for the see results you may not see results but someone that have not seen you for a long time maybe like six four months or a year will be the one to tell you that oh baby you're looking younger so that is something about age age define uh anti-wrinkle anti-aging products you just have to be patient so for the other one, which is um, white care, um, feminine shower gel, actually the roots um, for dry skin, but I, I'll, I'll come to that. Let me say what I like about this one. Yeah. So it's perfect. Like I said, if any soap is not written for your face, ah, then don't use it. But actually I have to risk this because there's something I noticed about it that made me risk it. And when I risk it, I use it on my face, man. So if your face, you have too much product, too much product in the sense that maybe you have a lot of, like, there are some level of um, makeup you apply on your face that even your cleanser alone cannot get rid of it. You need a shower gel to get rid of it. Then this one is perfect for you. Like, um, I think it comes a different stick. The other one it has a blue sticker, while the other one has a pink -ish kind of sticker. So I'm talking about the one that has a bluish kind of sticker that have a lady in it. The other one is flower in it. This is the age defined, the one that is pinkish in color. Then the other one that is bluish in color is for feminine. Yeah, and it has um pegaga, yeah, pegaga in it. So I've not finished it. Like the former one, I I finished this one. So this one is I got it like it's a month plus now so it's still like here yeah, so i decided to dump it why because i notice it makes my skin dry unlike this that makes my skin moist like though my friend was preferring this because she said it's when she used it it's kind of like clean her body very well she doesn't feel the traces of soap on her body but i prefer this because after using it i kind of feel like my body is glossy like and I like it that way. So whenever I use this, I kind of feel like my body is too dry. But the roots, perfect for dry skin. So if you have a very dry skin, I won't advise you to use it because it's going to make your skin dry, dry, dry. But you can use it on your face if your face is too oily. Yeah. So what I actually like about the uh, Femin White Care brand uh, type is because it has a uv protection in it but this one doesn't have uv the, the, the h define doesn't have uv protection in it so that is the what i love about this one but if you have a very dry skin i would advise you to buy it don't buy this one don't buy it yeah because you won't like it but you can use it on your face but if it's the type that sweats so much that every time your skin kind of feel like oh, oh, oh. or maybe you've had a long day you've had a hard walk uh, you walk in the side or your body feels like it's so dirty you're not feeling like you just need to like wash scrub your body then this one is perfect for that condition yes it's perfect don't ever go for this why because if you use this way you know your body is feeling so dirty over dirty and you use this you still feel like you, you've not taken your bath because you still feel the traces of the glossiness on your skin yeah so this is perfect when your skin is so smooth and flawless not really smooth and flawless when you know your skin is not feeling it's not dirty dirty in the sense that maybe you just came back from the site or you just came back from a hard day you just need to have a proper clean so don't use this one you have to go for this so like i said the disadvantage is is it's not good for dry skin yeah if you have a dry skin don't try it though they wrote it perfect for dry skin but i've tested it it is off for dry skin you can use it on your face to get rid of excess oil on your face and i also use it on my hair yeah you can use it on your hair i use it on my hair i'm not saying you should do it but i'm letting you know i used it on my hair 
this one was what I used on my hair, not this. Yeah, because of the ability to like strip off every oil on your body. Oh, yeah, that was how I used it on my. So, in a nutshell, the both of them, the road times two whitening. Yeah, if you want to look like a snow white, definitely this is not going to give you snow white because I've used it for, I used this, this last me for like three, four months. Yeah, I got it. I think it's in March or February this year. I got it. So I finished it like two months ago, a month ago or so. So it was, I still find out that my skin is, there's no difference. It's the same. So not all shower gel that gives you that whitening when they write whitening because most times i notice some uh, cream manufacturers they tend to add whitening actually it doesn't white because they know that is a trademark for everybody when they see a product whitening oh this actually whitens the skin they run out they go ahead to buy it no and that's what happened to bros too when they were having this number one two three four five and everybody was running after five and you kind of like uh five whitens the skin more and all of a sudden it shifts to one one whitening so they find out that some numbers tend to be in the store for months even year without being sold out so they just kind of like scrub up everything about one two three they just made it uniform so anyone you pick good for you so that's why you see sometimes when you buy bros two product you find out that some may whiten you some may just make you darker because in between me mistakenly the numbers doesn't really tally again that is just its advantages so most shower gel that the roots whitening times two whitening it does actually whiten but i have a shower gel that i reviewed in my video you can go check it out or i'll leave the link here down below the shower gel actually whitens yeah actually whitened so i could not finish the shower gel because i was like oh, when i come out i'll be looking at myself i said what is happening to me so my sister i don't know what she did to it she kind of mix 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 she was able to finish it yeah she was able to finish it so so guys so that is all i have to say about this product white care yeah white care yeah so that is all i have to say about this product so guys thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.